Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We're jumping in again. Obviously a bit of a minor streak at the minute from our tainted lost runs, but we're going to sort of randomize here and see who we get. I'm hoping it's a vanilla character uh, because of... it's not. It's my stemmer. Do you know what? I'll play my stemmer. That's fine. Um, basically, I've got Isaac Champions on, as you can see. Uh, because it has been updated to actually be officially on Steam uh, Workshop now, so everyone can go and use it. So, highly recommend giving it a go. I showed it off before while it was still in development, and it is, it's is—it's not completely finished now, but it is in a more stable state, and it has some really, really cool sort of EID descriptions and stuff. But I'm going to be keeping it on and using it when we have characters that we want to use it on. It's not going to be something that I take every single run, it's just going to be here and there. But anyways, playing as good old Mastema here, we're going to go and do Dark Path. Uh, we'll see what we have here. Uh, I'm going to take the random. Ooh, okay. That's uh, unexpected, but interesting. A little bit of soy milk. It's been a quite a bit of time since I had soy milk, to be honest. I mean, I genuinely cannot remember the last time I had a soy milk run. Uh, I had almond milk recently, um, but it's it, it's more so what I mean is, is it, by that is like, it's, it's been ages since we had a soy milk run where we started with soy milk. I got soy milk very, very early. Like, I, I genuinely cannot remember the last time that happened. Um, so it's a bit, bit interesting. A bit of a unique one. And on the, on the side of crying fast, what's something, for the question of the day, what's something that you wish you could do significantly faster? Because um, I, th I feel like there's a lot of things that... Um, I probably wish I could do faster, but can't. Oh god, um... Oh. Okay, these guys are hella... This is a really horrible room, and I genuinely don't know how I haven't been hit. Yeah, okay. I guess it, it, it was coming at some point, I was just waiting for when. Um, I'm trying to think what would be a good one for me. I guess one of the ones that's always annoying is like going shopping and stuff. That's always something that I wish was speedier. But there is ways to make it speedier that I just haven't adopted. Like just buying your stuff online and having it delivered. I don't know why I haven't done that. I think it's because I live in flats. It just makes it slightly more inconvenient. Not not wholly inconvenient, but a little bit more. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to pop my Chaos Disc now. Hey, do you know what? Um, good old Pride Pin for a little bit here is not bad. It's not a lot of Pride Pin, but... It helps. Oh, boy, that's a lot of bees. That's a lot of bees. That's a lot of teeth. Oh, gross. Okay, thank you, bees, for making that significantly easier on me. Good old I'm excited to really make me excited there. Okay, I'm going to get hit again here, I think. Oh, no, I got lucky. Pride pin stuck around for long enough to uh, to help me out there. Nice. Uh, do you know what? I am going to go for this. Why not? Boom, boom. Very, 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 very worthwhile. Um, and we will try and get a little bit of use out of Pride Pin here by taking this guy for a run. Don't know how much we're going to get out of it. I'm excited here is uh, kind of gross. Oh, God. I'm excited on you when you can walk through walls. It's not something that I wanted to experience. Oh god, I'm excited right now. It's horrible. Oh, how did I not get hit there? Okay, that was that was kind of tricky, I'll be honest. Grab ourselves speed up. Pretty good considering our speed was a little low to start with. Look down, it's annoying, but it's not terrible. And we'll pop down here. Of course, I didn't use prayer card again because I'd rather just use the extra charge on this floor. Good, good. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with uh, with this run so far. Do you know what I don't like? I don't like you guys pushing the homing shooting boy into me. In fact, I just don't like him altogether. This is a little bit of a tricky one. Mainly because the hands are getting in the way more than anything. And the knockback is uh, particularly quite frustrating. I'm probably going to get hit here. Oh no, I'm okay. Yes, baby. Okay, I got an arm is very, very good with soy milk. We were talking about this recently, actually, um, about, ooh, bag of jewels. Give you random sin jewels on use. That sounds really cool, but unfortunately, I'm not trading the begotten arm away. But yeah, begotten arm, we actually recently um, started, like, realizing just how powerful it is. Um, and we also realized that it's significantly more powerful, um, oh god, significantly more powerful the higher your tier rate is, because um, I believe the explosion damage is pretty static. Um, and so we, we said it's gonna be really good with soy milk and that it is now Obviously, I want pentagram here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off until I potentially get some more HP But you can see there just 
how crazy this is. Um, and apparently it's an ultra kill reference this item as well, which I didn't know at the time. So thank you for someone that pointed that out in the comments. Pretty interesting. I still need to play ultra kill. I enjoyed like Doom Eternal tons, and I know that ultra kill has that same sort of combat vibe. So I really should give it a, a go. Because, um, yeah, it seems like a very, 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 very good game. Um, seems like it has a ton of content as well from what I've seen. Um, I'm just going to pop this now. Realize it's a little bit of a waste, but it allows us to take Pentagram a little more safely. But yeah, we're going to be using the hell out of this to uh, open up secret room walls and do good damage, all that good stuff. It's going to be very, very strong, this. And we can even get our tier 8 even higher. It's going to be even better. I'm, I'm excited for how this is going to go. Um, this isn't where I want it to go, but oh uh, well. But yeah, we kind of proved how good this thing was recently, and it's very much proving itself right now. It's just it's crazy how fast it recharges, and like I said, with soy milk, it's so easy to, to do the hit on your uh, thingy. Ooh, gilded keys here is pretty good. Especially when we're getting a lot of keys. Fortunately, the pots we're destroying right now are not too much value to us. Okay, that didn't really work the way I wanted it to, but it's okay. It's so good, this. I'm, I'm, <laughs> this is this is already a run that I'm very, very invested in. I'm actually not going to bother with shot speed. Um, I don't actually want additional shot speed right now. Um, is it this character where devil deals cost money? I never remember. I don't think so. Either way, let's take the pentagram because that's just good damage. Very good damage, in fact. It's a 30-something percent damage increase. It's lovely. Um, we'll quickly pop in here. And... I don't... I don't remember. I'm going to bomb this anyways, just in case. Just so I've got 15, in case the Devil Deal is money. I, I genuinely can't remember. There's something funky going on with Devil Deals with this guy, and I can't remember what it is. I might be completely incorrect here. Beautiful stuff. Amazing. Okay, so we can take Angel Deal as well. So we'll take that. Take that. Okay, let's go Angel Deal instead then. Uh, we've done Mega Satan, so it doesn't really matter which one of these we go. Okay, this, this is just HP. Um, it's very, very risky if I take this. And level 3 Brimstone isn't actually what... is actually very good. Hmm... I'm gonna leave it. I like Polar I like Polaris, it's good. Do you know what? I should I should grab the um I should grab this though. But yeah, like Polaris is good, but I, I really don't like the fact that the last level is Brimstone. Because like typically it sounds pretty good, but almost every single time I've had um I've had it, I'd rather keep 2020, I'd rather keep the 1.75 damage. I really wish that um it wasn't Brimstone as the last option. It was just like more damage or triple shot or something. Because yeah, it can it can sometimes really ruin synergies. Or with certain characters, like modded characters, it just doesn't work very well. Good stuff. We're grabbing this just for the um, extra angel chance and such. Um, and we'll just carry on, I think. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of a bust on our angel deal there, which is a shame, but eh, one that can't be helped so much. I didn't look for a second secret room on that last floor, which is stupid considering I literally have unlimited bombs. Spin down is very, very nice, of course. We will always, always take a spin down on board. I'll crack both of these in the hopes of more keys, and we got it, and we got more HP as well. Very nice. Okay, these guys have to jump onto me first, stand here, and then... Boom. Oh, very bad hit there. I got, I got a bit stuck on the webbing, and it uh, threw off my, uh, my positioning. Oh, you bastard. Did it again. Okay. Unfortunately, gained a soul heart, lost a soul heart in that room, so not not the best. Oh, I really like this. Do 
you know what the bugger on arm would be insane with? Anti-grav tears. You could just hold all the tears in place and then launch them all. That'd be so goddamn good. My god, I never thought about how insane that would be. Holy hell. That'd be that that'd be a really fun like challenge run that. Where like you can uh, basically it makes it so you can only use the begotten uh, arm and you have like low tier rate, but you have to like anti grab throw everything. That'd be kind of cool. Possible prayer card up again here. Not particularly a big fan of you, big chubber. There we got you pretty easily, actually. Oh, the corn mine kind of spooked me there a little bit. Ayo, yeah, second secret room is just too easy to find right now. We have to go for it. Don't know if I'm able to, to kill this guy. Not really. Crack that open. Um, using a card gives a thingy... Um, wait, what's this, sorry? Spawns a copy of all dip familiars uh, in the room. Activates the box for effect. Spawns a copy of all users' parent familiars for the room. Eh, that's not very useful. I think this card thing's going to be better, though, because we get damage uh, instead of just uh, golden chests, which I do like golden chests, don't get me wrong, but um, you need the keys to support it. And while at the minute, so far, we have had the keys to support it, I feel like we're not always going to have that privilege. This is a pretty awful room right here. Wasn't as bad as I expected, actually. Hey, Tough as Nails is pretty nice for free um, cursed room entry. And it allows us to actually spend our money, which we can't normally do. I should have, however, checked what our glass spin down offer was for Tough as Nails, because I didn't even think it could have been something really good that I've not uh, considered. And that might have been a real waste. Oh, dude, come on now. Right, so basically, in these, we can just line up for it. And enter in. We will most certainly do this. Crack that open as well. And out we go. See? Really good. Honestly, Tough as Nails is one of those items that in combat... Like, when you get it, you think, Ooh, invincibility every now and again, that's great. And then you realise that in combat, it's almost worthless. Um, meat cleaver. Oh, it's two off death certificate. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, if we can get another spin down, that would be so nice. Although I don't even know if death certificate would spawn because we don't have it unlocked. I don't actually know how that works. Gimpy will just take... Um, very tempted to take that, but I obviously don't know what it is. Not much going on there. Okay, I think we're basically out of this floor. Yeah, I don't even know if Death Certificate would actually spawn, given um, that we don't have it unlocked. I'm really not sure how that works with Spin Down. I think Spin Down allows you to get items that are locked, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not entirely, entirely confident. See, when we're fighting bosses with a begotten arm, it doesn't it doesn't have that oomph factor that it does elsewhere, but it's still good. It's still doing much better damage than just soy milk would be doing, of course. Hey, we get that. We could spin down to chocolate milk. What does chocolate milk plus soy milk do? I don't actually know. Uh, Isaac soy milk. I don't remember if it has any specific interaction. Um, chocolate. chocolate milk. Shots cannot be charged, but Isaac gains a flat plus one damage up after the soy milk penalty. Okay, so this is it's, it's significantly better than this would be. Let's just see if anything in here is better first. Um, unfortunately not. Is there anything we actually just want to take? Though? Is 
I don't really think so. Unfortunately, yet again, a bit of a bust on this. Nah, do you know what? I'll take this. This can be pretty good. And then, yeah, I'm going to spin down this into this. And this basically just gives us a flat, huge damage increase. It, it literally doubles our damage from one to two. Uh, right, are we going to keep going? We are going to keep going, yeah. Although I seem to be firing less tears now. Do I? Am I firing less tears? I might be. I don't know. Either way, I think I think chocolate milk is still good. I think it still works for what we're doing. I just think Abba got an arm isn't going to be quite as spicy as it once was. But if our overall tier damage is better, that might be completely okay. Yeah, I can definitely tell the damage is better already. Ooh, I managed to shoot the pod shot there. And I am still, like, managing to hit the tiers very regularly, so... It's not a big downside at all. We'll destroy all the mushrooms at this point, because why not? Get off those bombs. I want some of those. And what we got going on in here? Judas's shadow. How much HP do we currently have? Hmm. A reflected Judas shadow really speaks to me. Because we can get unlocks as Judas that way, which I think we do need, although I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's, it's tempting. It's, let me leave it at that. It's tempting. We do, we do also want unlocks as this guy, so it's... It's not the best. There you go, baby. It paid out eventually. Okay, keep moving along. These enemies are right pins. Sometimes it's not hitting the mushrooms, even though it's directly on them. I don't know what that's about. I'm still going to keep looking for good old magic mush. Just in case it's lurking in the shadows. Nice. No. Nothing there. Extra heart. Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of I kind of do want Judas' shadow, but I'm kind of down to just play this guy. Maybe I'll take the random item and see what see what's what. Cause that, that that was a too high item as well, wasn't it? Which means it's reasonable quality. We've not found any of our secret rooms so far, I don't think. We ought to be looking. Yeah. It's gonna be a little bit slow to get all of these because they're all separated, but as I said, worth it. We're not doing anything speed based, are we now? Look down. I don't know why, but I just keep getting look down pills. Apparently the game thinks I'm too lucky. Okay. Check out all of these. No. Where could the secret room be? Not there. Really a little bit lost for where it could be. Ah, oh, you left. I see you. Extra card there. Little bit of an annoying room here with these dudes. Okay, wasn't too bad though. Dude, the double troll bombs. What's going on with all of them? Ooh, sun card. I will take that for the next floor. That'll also give us a damage increase too, which is rather nice. I'm going to check this wall again here in case I missed last time. Eh, hey, it was. Tough as nails. Let's get in here real quick. Lovely. 
easy stuff for the extra black heart there. And then we got ordinary life here. Um, considering I just got an extra soul heart here, ordinary life is pretty good. Spawns an additional mum slash dad related item in treasure rooms alongside. Okay, let's just take that. I don't know what health I'm currently on, so I'm a little wary. That's another fire rate increase, which is nice. Sty is obviously really good for us here. Even more damage. And in fact, I'm pretty sure Sty is static damage. Is as in like, it doesn't care about damage modifiers. It just affects every other shot from whatever eye. This is a new champion. This is a new champion. Um, I know that we went first one. Yeah, that, this is definitely a big damage boost for us right now. Very nice stuff there. Now my question right now, realistically, is do I take the other item or have I not gained enough HP yet? Like, is that too risky to go into the item room and take that, that mystery item? Seems a little risky to me. Let's see what's, what's going after the boss. If I get a HP upgrade or something, then I'll go back for it. If I don't, then I'll leave it just in case. It, it, I don't think it would kill us, but it would definitely put us in a, a a rather rough spot, I'd think. Yeah, dude, our damage now is very nice. We get our self-consolation prize. That, that's plus one damage, nice. And a key. Glyph of Balance gives us plus two soul hearts, so I, I will just take that. And of course, we'll go for this as well, because why not? Okay, I did get a prayer card here, therefore I am going to go and grab, um, grab that. I always forget that killing the angel gives you a, a charge pip. I could also go into my shop and buy a soul heart if there's one available too. But yeah, let's take whatever the mystery item is here and, and see what ends up being. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I, we're probably going to be on relatively low HP right now. But I think overall this is pretty good stuff. I mean, Explosivo plus Soy Milk is always going to be good for us. Don't even know why I looked in there. I forgot everything costs um, hearts. We also have a, a Holy Mantle attached to us from Glyph of Balance, which is rather, rather nice. Puts us in a, a decent spot if our health is really, really low. Which it isn't. We actually got quite a lot of health. We've got XL Floor here. But yeah, we now have multiple levels of explosive shots going on, which I quite like. Fortunately, Explosivo isn't really procking where I want it to. Or, or is it just that it doesn't stick to the front of their mask? It might, it might be. I thought it did, but I don't think it actually does. Not bad. Yeah, just a penny dropped in that room. Yeah, okay, Explosivo is working just fine. Yeah. Big old chest, unfortunately, big old chest. Oh, what the hell? This changed as I re-entered the room. Weird. Uh, we don't actually have enough for, to take the big old chest. We do have this sun card that I forgot about, though, so we'll pop that. That'll give us some damage for a little while. Um, don't know why I decided to hit him. Bad idea. Stuff prayer card, we'll pop that. Love being able to auto-destroy the heads off of these guys. That is immensely satisfying after the torture they have put on me. Both mentally and physically. Got ourselves a full card. Don't like the fact that these guys are still firing, but we shall prevail. Nice. Explosive will take care of you. And an extra soul heart as well. Boy, game is being generous at the moment. What, what did I just say? Right, we are going to do all the rooms here because it's our last floor of prayer card being useful. So we're going to get the most out of it we possibly can. 
Well, I say useful. It still gives half a soul heart from here on out, but you know what I mean. Sad onion? I mean, well, that's pretty interesting that um, if you're using ordinary life, the ordinary life item doesn't cost. I would not have expected that. I'm very pleased. Very nice, actually. So we can get some item room items for free. As long as the, obviously, mum item, mum slash dad item is good. Like, we got a pretty good one there with the uh, mum's contact. But there is some real stinkers in that pool. Then again, there is also, like, mum's light, mum's knife and um, stuff like that. So there are some really good ones as well. Yeah, I'm liking this set. This is, like, such an interesting... It's, like, it's, it's not very, like, crazy in terms of, like, synergy. But this is, like, such an interesting setup in terms of, like, having Soy Milk be able to do some actually really, really good damage. Despite its low damage multiplier. Th I, I mean, like, Explosivo, Chocolate Milk, plus the Begotten Hand. Th those three just work in tandem so interestingly together. That was pretty fun. Beautiful. Yeah, it just, the Begotten Arm is just so fun. I really like it. It's an item that I passed up for such a long time because it's one of those items where you, you see it's an active and you see it's got a really long description and you're just kind of like, this isn't going to be worth it, is it? But it's actually like, it's got a little bit of a complexity to it and obviously Soy Milk does alleviate that because you have to actually hit the tier. We kind of proved that in the last episode we had it, where it's a little tedious to uh, constantly have to hit the tier if you've got a slow fire rate. But with soy milk, it just alleviates that so much so to the point where it's actually pretty god tier. And it's the fact as well that, like, it's not just combat based. You can use it to, like, destroy rocks too. If it didn't work on rocks, I'd definitely bump it down a tier. Um, but the fact that you can destroy rocks with it too makes it so immensely useful. Don't know how many we killed there. Oh, we killed three in that first, but nice. It's a good old sack room. Do you know what? Okay, these are these are perfect examples of rooms to bomb out of. Yet another example of a really good use case for this. Didn't even think about it, but being able to quickly escape rooms that you do not need to be in is is rather nice. Rooms annoying me. And then here we got, see, this is another one that I'm just willing to take instead of spending mon money. And we got Mom Transformation out of it. Like, pretty good stuff, that, right? And then, yeah, we got Sty as well on top of all this. Kind of forgot about Sty. Sty is um, very, very nice with all of this. Try for a dry baby. Or a blackout or card or something. I'm not going to spend all my time doing it with every single skull, but... While we're on our way to our boss, why not? The fact that we've got an R is like recharges so fast as well, it's another like huge plus. Prayer card has been doing a real good job. I don't know how much Glyph of Balance has been doing for us, to be honest. I've not really been paying attention to what it's been giving us. Might have been why we were getting soul hearts earlier, potentially. I didn't really think about that. I was saying about how lucky we were getting on Soul Hearts, but no, that was before we had Glyph of Balance, though, wasn't it? No, I think it was. Okay, great damage there. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> that is very, very, very good as with Soy Milk. Let's see how quickly we killed you. We're doing Dark Path. We have already done Delirium, so we're not getting any other marks out of doing this, but hey ho! Plus 25 damage here is pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff indeed. Um, one sec. Okay, let's keep it going. Yeah, this is such an interesting and fun build. I love it. Like, this is why I like stuff like soy milk. Some people get soy milk off the bat and like, nope, restart. Whereas I'm like, hey, you get soy milk off the bat and there's just so much potential. Like, I, obviously I'm not saying that every single time you're going to get a run like this for soy milk. Sometimes they are going to be stinkers. 
But I feel like the potential for interesting synergy, and like, especially when you've got items like Blood Clot, Sty, um, Peeper's Eye, stuff like that, that are going to increase flat the amount of damage you do from one of your eyes. Really, really. I don't know if Pe actually, Peeper's Eye might be a percentage base, but either way. Good stuff. My god. Okay, we finally lost our holy mantle. But do you see the amount of speed that I killed that guy with there? That was immense. We are an absolute beast. Okay, well, we should probably at least go in here. Damn it. Not something I'm willing to... Uh, take the chance on, especially in Womb where I'm taking one heart damage. Those chests can just explode and hurt you. And we really have very little need for money, so unless we got the all stats up from the uh, curse pennies, really not a lot of value in that for us. The virus? Um, do you know what? I'll take the virus. Why not? Unfortunately, I'm sorry, Buck, but um, you are not going to be taken permanently, but I will pick you up for the Bookworm. I suppose we get some charges out of this room as well. But yeah, honestly, Smooth Stone is another amazing pickup here. 1.5 times damage to bosses over 150 health is pretty insane on soy milk. It's, it's kind of the thing is as well, like, we only have 1.5 soy milk damage. But Chucky Milk is doubling that, remember. Uh, well, technically not doubling, but it's adding plus one onto that. And then Sty is improving it by a lot. Smooth Stone's improving it by a lot. Explosivo's augmenting it. It's just it's just kind of nutty how all these things are stacking up to create this godly soy milk run. Cool. Up to full HP now. This is the point where I'm like, let's just bomb our way through some of these rooms to uh, speed up these floors a little bit. Of course, I've so far bombed through every every which wrong way I could possibly go. Okay, great. Apparently all of this was wrong. Get out of here, bees. Wasn't even a hard room. Bombed out of it three times. Wasn't even a hard room, but apparently we're going this way. But yeah, when we're at full health, we don't need charges or anything, so... Beautiful stuff. Okay, don't know where the brimstone came from. I did not know this guy had a brimstone-based attack, but... More power to you, I guess. Um, speed, yep. Luck, yep. Pop in here. Stairway, I don't know how valuable it is, but I'm going to grab it anyways and see. Because uh, it might be health-based. And if it's health-based, that's pretty good for us, right? It is health-based. Unfortunately, this item here is pretty dookie. Um, I'll grab that. Soul Heart for an Eternal Heart seems valuable to me. Now, Brain Worm. Brain Worm is a trinket that I very much would be willing to take, because that's going to that's gonna improve things tenfold. It means that Explosivo shots are so much less likely to miss now. Although, I don't think our Begotten Arm shots take effect from Brain Worm. I think they're calculated differently. Oh, no. No, they do. They do. I saw it happen. A few half soul hearts there. I do like the idea of prayer card only giving half soul hearts once you get to this point in the game. Makes a lot of sense. Keep taking those keys. Why not? Dude, this is brilliant. I'm loving this. Back out of that room real quick. Some rooms obviously are just easy enough to get on with, but the certain rooms that bombing your way through them, 
This makes so much more sense. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'm grateful for it. Luckily, a room like this we can clear up very easily like this. Didn't even have to clear it, though. Dude, it's wrong way Mageddon at the moment. Library, though, this is why I took the other book. If there's two books in here, we get Bookworm. And indeed, there is, although I did not expect both books to cost HP. Sorry, but I will not be grabbing those. I kind of forgot about that. Good. Ooh, extra soul heart. I should go back and grab that. I'm just going to fire anywhere, and it's going to hit them with Brain Worm. Go. Nice explosivo shot shut to them fellas. My god, this is beautiful. Yes, baby. Sped right through that. And we're going dark path, correct? Yes, we are. Okay, down we go. Remember we've got stairway again here? Okay, so the blind, we don't know what we're getting. Scapula, it's obviously not great, but it's fine. We'll pay this guy out because, okay, didn't expect him to give me an item that quickly. I like the fact that we have mum's wig and dad's beard. That's, that's pretty funny. But yeah, not the best item there for us, but fine. Ooh, he almost got me with his whippy. Thought that was secret room. Ooh, hello. Not expecting these. Haven't seen these in quite some time. Double item there. Bone hearts there. We get ourselves marrow. And we get ourselves berserk. Unfortunately, really not the best for us. But I appreciate the effort, game. I appreciate the effort. The triple coffin is uh, not a setup seen most runs. Yeah, kind of hope we're going the right way here. Another eternal heart. I may be taking eternal hearts because uh, for the trades. Oh, dude, these guys are kind of a menace now. Give me that. Definitely a room I'm going to be bombing my way out of, thank you. Unfortunately, this one, not quite as easy to do the same thing in. Okay. Not a particular fan of this room either with the uh, the old skull boy in here. But we got through that scot-free. And here we get a little fiend. I don't mind a little fiend. He's, uh, he's chill. Okay. Getting a lot of the uh, the explosive burnies. One of my uh, favourite reworked enemies from the reworked first mod. Okay, Brainworm will take care of all of these for us. Fire in the hole. Okay, boss should be any moment now. Here a font we'll just grab for uh, potential. It, uh, mistakes I make, I guess. Key. Come on, boss. Where the hell are you at? Dude, did you see that? I used my begotten arm. It flicked it to a um, 90 degree angle into the secret room wall that I didn't even know was there. Gotta admit, I liked that. Thought that was pretty special. Cool. And it's boss time. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance, bud. Didn't even get a chance. <laughs> the damage we're outputting right now. It's so crazy to have 1.5 damage stat and be able to, like, deal this much actual damage. It's kind of nuts. 
Beautiful stuff. Life savings unlocked. Lovely. And we'll see what our stairway contains here. Um, Yeah, that's fine, I think. Eye of Balor is also really good. Half Soul Heart there, Prayer Card, plus uh, this refills our HP. Oh, <laughs> Parasitoid, okay. I'm going to go back and take this, because that with paras that with Parasitoid is, is nutty. We're going to be creating an insane amount of, uh, what's they called? Locusts. Full card doesn't matter so much. Beautiful stuff right here. Extra soul heart there as well. Dude, the health keeps on rolling in. I like the way the boss tried to spawn and we were just like, no. You drop nothing for us, how dare you. Blood Void Machine, nah. Still don't really know the proper use case for those. Something I haven't really studied well enough to know. I'm sure they have some interesting payouts, I really should try and play them, but on a character that doesn't have red health, they're pretty much useless anyways. But yeah, we spent all that HP, and we are straight back on top with almost full HP again. It's kind of nuts. Apparently Steven's been reworked as well. Red Rune, nice. We've unlocked those finally. Is that it? That's all of them? No, apparently not. Okay. Ooh, we got a shop disc. Fortunately, Little Baggy was one of those things. If you get Little Baggy on um, one of those discs, I'm guessing it will replace your card if you have one in your pocket. That'd be pretty frustrating, though, wouldn't it? That would be pretty frustrating. But I think, I think we've definitely uh, got a pretty clean win here. A clean cut win. I shan't believe there'll be any issues. Okay, we've got Void Portal here, but we've done Void. There's no need. Same with Mega Satan. We have the key to get in there, but we just have zero need to enter. Where the boss at? Also, Gish has changed himself a little bit as well. Taking a lot of damage here, but again, damage that probably, in the end, doesn't really matter. But in the end, it didn't really matter. Right. Let's see how much we decimate this guy. We decimated him quite a bit. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. We got Bloody Harvest unlocked. That was a very fun run, and I love the fact that we got so milk off the bat. I'll see you guys in the next one.